Hello, I'm going to go over the history of photography. There's three parts to this learning unit, and so I'm going to cover all the different things that you'll need to be paying attention to and the homework that will happen during this learning unit. So, of course, read all of the contents that is included in each page and watch the required videos. So the first one is a brief history of photography and it's four minutes. You're going to want to watch that. This is a timeline that I created um, that just kind of goes over the part one. So the more historical aspects of the history of photography and remember when you click on the blue links, it takes you to a website that further discusses um, whatever artist or movement um, that the link takes you to to talk about the different photographers. So these are helpful links that I encourage you to check out. The first uh, video, which is part of part one, is 55 minutes. You're going to want to watch this video that reviews um, the beginning of and the history of photography. So it starts at about the 19th, the, kind of the turn of the century, and ends at about the 1920s. It's a pretty cool video. This is my lecture that you're going to want to watch. It's about 40 minutes, and it covers, um, it kind of goes back and forth between looking at historical photographers and then comparing those to contemporary photographers. The terms and concepts, um, so basically like the vocabulary list with some helpful links. More helpful links if you want to do some further research from this beginning of the um, history of photography. And then you'll have a vocabulary for this week. Uh, these are the details for the homework assignment, so you're going to want to watch that. And then you'll basically be following the prompts and responding to two of your classmates' posts. And again, use um, either a photographer or a photograph from the learning unit that we're talking about here. And there's a quiz for part one, and the answers will be in the lecture and the video. Part two is kind of um, from about the 1930s to the 1960s, and you're going to want to watch this uh, required video talking about one of the photographers um, and their creative process. The continuation of the timeline from about 1920 to about 1960. So again, these are some cool links that will define, for example, the Farm Security Administration, the influence of Life magazine, and just some really great information in the timeline. The second uh, required video, it's about 55 minutes long, and again, very interesting looking at not only the history of photography, but also just a little bit more about visual literacy and how um, still photographs inspired moving images. And then my lecture for part two is about 15 minutes long, and I always include a PDF so you can go back through and um, study more of the information that's covered in the lecture. So this is a PDF of the lecture. The terms and vocabulary from part two with some helpful links. This is the list of photographers that you're going to be using for this learning unit and the details are covered in the different homework projects, but this is the list that you're going to want to work from. And again, I've got a short description of the photographer's work and then a link that would take you to um, a better resource for learning about, for example, Dorothea Lange or whichever photographer you end up wanting to do some further research on. So these are links that are going to get you started on your research. And then the first part um, for this learning unit is you're going to submit a proposal that would then be a continuation for submitting some of your photographs inspired by whichever photographer you choose 
from the list of photographers. So you can kind of get a sense of um, their work, like I stated before, and do some initial research from what I've started to gather. Also, you're going to want to include a bio where you talk about the cultural context. And so remember that the cultural context is was discussed when we when I introduced visual analysis. And it's really um, reflecting like when the photographer made their work, where they were living, because that could affect their um, cultural context and their, their beliefs and their political and cultural environment. So that you need to include in your bio. You're also going to include two examples. And this um, six minute video goes over all of these requirements in um, more detail. So uh, after you've picked the photographer, you're gonna do some research, learn about their techniques, how they created their photographs and why. You're gonna pick one of the photographs that you embed because you're gonna show us two examples of their work. And you're going to talk a little bit about the formal and compositional elements and any symbolism that's in their photographs. And you're going to want to have a minimum of three links and you'll respond to one of your classmates posts. But all the homework requirement details are in this video. There's a quiz that's for part two. So the answers would be found in the lecture. You can re reference the PDF and the video. And then for part three, um, of course, you're going to read all of the information that I've gathered. Watch this one minute video. The continuation of the timeline from about 1960 to about 2018. This is the required video that you'll want to watch again, where um, a lot of the answers to the quiz for part three are in the video. So you're going to want to watch this video. It's just a little bit less than an hour long. The terms and vocabulary that I want you to think about and consider for part three, some helpful links. More helpful links. So lots of really cool stuff for you to check out. And then this will be the final um, kind of collective project, or not collective, but the photographs that you'll make that are all a part of this learning unit. So you're going to want to watch this four minute video where I talk about the details um, that are covered here as well. And so basically you're going to be making two photographs that are inspired from the photographer that you researched and submitted for that proposal. So be sure to uh, watch this video that will be helpful and of course keep me posted with any questions. And then finally you're going to do a personal reflection as well from the different videos that you've watched and so this is just a quick one minute video where I go over the details so you'll want to check that out but you're basically just going to be referencing after you've watched the, th the videos um, what really stood out for you so and respond to one of your classmates posts and then the last quiz which comes from again um, the information included in the learning unit so basically for the history of photography like I was saying there's three parts there's part one part two and part three, all of the due dates are available on Canvas. So be sure to um, check out all the cool information that I've put together. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.